Hi everybody and welcome to the first episode of the Cryer Sports Wire. I'm Ben Dramala and I'm Casey Shanks. And we had a very eventful week in Caneland Sports. Very successful. Yeah, tennis. Uh, Caneland defeats Morris 4-1 on August 27th. Maddie Jurasek and Piper Schrepferman both won their matches decidedly. Uh, their game got canceled on the 28th and their next two games on the 29th and 30th. Both wins, 6-1 against Elgin and 7-0 versus Geneseo. Great match versus Geneseo. Maddie Jurasek and Piper Schreckman won the, led the way once again, both winning their matches 6-0 and en in route to their 7-0 victory over Geneseo. Not only did tennis have a successful week, so did the golf team. Yes, on August 29th, they defeated Sycamore 151 to 176 at their first home match of the season in Hughes Creek. Will Marshall led the way with 33, and Ryan Milton followed closely with 37 in their first defeat against Sycamore. Yeah, these guys have been on fire. Sophomore Ryan Milton and Will Marshall are always doing what they got to do to win. Of course. Mitch, how would the soccer team perform this week? Soccer team still looking for their first win on the 29th. They lost 7-1 to to West Aurora. Tucker Johns scoring the only goal there. And then on the 30th, they lost 3-0 to Batavia. Talk about football's tremendous start to this season. Yeah, on Friday, football defeated Geneva, ooh, 35-14. Joe Smith had an awesome game, so did Wilson Giffney. How did yes. he do? Smith led the way, 209 yards and three touchdowns all in the first half alone. And Will Giffney on the defense side of the ball had 18 tackles and Chad Shaw followed the way with 15. Boys cross country got rained out just like tennis and soccer on the 28th. How'd they do at Crystal Lake South and how's the girls do? Yes, the, the girls, all their meets got canceled this week, but the boys, they were able to run on Saturday at the Crystal Lake South invite. Dan Ackman had a strong showing, uh, placed third, and Jacob Wielgas also as well. Uh, he was in the top 20 in, the, in their meet. Very strong showing in the cross country team. Volleyball spiked their way to some victories this week. How'd they do, Ben? That's right. August 30th, they defeated Woodstock Marion 2-1. to one. Sydney Fairley helps lead the Knights' victory with 10 kills, 15 assists, and 3 aces. And then in Champaign over the weekend, they uh, played in the Centennial Tournament. They took first place of the tournament. Uh, Cage Blonsky led the way with 10 kills and 12 digs. The volleyball team's been looking great all season. So excited for them continuing on. To the highly anticipated Athlete of the Week. Coaches nominated their picks for Athlete of the Week. The finalists were Katie Jablonski, Joe Smith, Will Marshall, and Dan Acapinti. Mr. Bruno will be announcing the winner today. All right, I'll just announce the winner. <laughs> and your Athlete of the Week is... Casey. After 230 Twitter votes, the winner is Katie Jablonski for her phenomenal play in the Centennial Tournament. It's the first episode of the Cryer Sports Wired. Ben, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Shanks. <laughs> See you next Monday, everyone.